Whenever we do certain drugs, it can connect half a thought with another half a thought, so it can get pretty confusing. It's very clear to me that some of your thinking is confused. You're making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes, apples! Come here, let me tickle your p Yeah, my thing is, you know, I have a baby with Raven. Nobody knows that. Yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ushka Screw Smash. You gave me the Ushka Smoo the Smoo Smash. Orlando Brown needs help. He went from a popular child star with a bright future to a fugitive on the run trying to expose Diddy and claim that he got Raven Simone pregnant. This is a messy situation, so let's get into it. <laughs> Orlando Brown is a child star from our generation who we've witnessed fall apart in front of the world. And he's probably one of the worst cases out there. I mean, we have people like Amanda Bynes and she had it pretty bad, but then she went away. She went into a conservatorship, not saying she's doing much better, but Orlando's breakdowns have been in front of the world to see on camera. To give you guys some context, Orlando Brown was born in December 1987 in Los Angeles. He is a multifaceted entertainer known for his content contributions to acting, rapping, and singing. He's been known as Eddie Thomas from That's So Raven, Cadet Kevin Tiger Dunn in Major Pain, 3J Wislow in Family Matters, and Max in Two of a Kind. So as a child star, they put Orlando to work. I mean, he was even doing voice work. So he was collecting a lot of money, uh, not living really much of a childhood because he was on set the entire time playing a child. Now in 2007, Orlando Brown severed ties with Disney to focus on a music career. Now this was anticipated because he was already exercising some of his skills on Disney, so he wanted to take that into the mainstream world. Believe me, you ain't never heard a young man that can blaze the track, ridiculous cat that can dribble behind his back. Now, some of his music did decent, but it did not pick up like his uh, child stardom. We're going to go through some of Orlando's worst moments and talk about what he's up to nowadays. But uh, he's had a lot of issues with drugs, going into rehab. And it seems like, you know, using drugs, using in general, is his way of coping from being overworked as a child actor. It's not necessarily confirmed, but when you look at the timeline of his life and other people who have experiences like him, it kind of adds up. Despite his bright future in the entertainment industry, the public's attention was soon diverted to Orlando's multiple legal issues. In 2016, he was arrested for domestic violence, ooh, obstruction of justice, and drug possession with intent to sell. Oh no, not, not selling drugs. According to police, Orlando got into a heated confrontation with his ex-girlfriend in a parking lot that resulted in a physical altercation. Once they arrived on the scene, police discovered that he was in possession of methamphetamine. Oof, nasty. This was followed by another incident of alleged domestic disturbance between his ex and her mother. Although charges were made, he failed to appear in court both times. Missing court is a crime of itself, and the police know who he is, and he's pretty easy to track down. So um, this results in really disturbing body cam footage where they're trying to get this guy because he's a criminal, but he's also like a victim of this system. I mean, being a child actor is so hard because going into adult acting is such a different realm. And if you built a reputation with Nickelodeon or Disney, like does a serious movie want to take you on and going to respect you? I mean, not everyone can be a Zendaya. Orlando, come out with your hands up. Oh no, this kind of stuff stresses me out. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Mother show me your hands. Show me your hands now. Get out. Get out. Get out. Down now. Down now. Down now. Show me your hands. Put them behind your back now. You got a war for your rest. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. What's your name? What's, the What's your name? What, have I done, sir? what is your name? What is all of this? State your name. State your name. Sir, what is you can tell that um, 
yeah, he does not want to state his name because he knows that's going to confirm who he is. And that's a common theme. Actually, I like when I was on a trip recently, I had a cops like bender. I just watched so many cops or, or it's called like patrol live or something. And uh, a lot of times this happens. State your name. I won't tell you until you tell me your name. Okay, fine. You won't tell me your name. Everyone knows you. Not that everyone knows you, so Orlando knows that he is going down in that moment, and it's unfortunate. I don't like to see anyone like going through something like this because, uh, again, I just don't think he had the support system, clearly not at home, and clearly not at the networks who were hiring him. Orlando was taken into custody and released, but again, failed to show up for court for his hearing. Bounty hunters relentlessly sought his capture until they found him hiding in that closet. Wow, that that's pretty, like traumatic it just seems like it'd be much easier to go in and to like deal with the law i just don't i don't ever agree with running from it deal with your problems you know but it's easier said than done now in june 2016 authorities apprehended orlando after they observed him emerging from a hotel known for prostitution and drug trafficking after stopping his cab, oh no, not them stopping the cab, they found meth and paraphernalia. That led to him being brought into custody as a result of an outstanding warrant, and he was charged with possession. Damn it, Orlando! Addiction is such a tough thing. Other episodes of misconduct followed, including an alleged attempt to burglarize a friend's restaurant, while his tattoo of Raven Simone's face on his neck raised eyebrows. Wait, what? Throughout this period, Orlando sought treatment on two occasions, though both times he soon left rehab centers. Oh, hell no. Orlando just got a tattoo of your face on his neck. Yeah, what do you make of that? I make of the second season of That's a Raven will be coming out July 25th. Bye. Are you Raven's home? No. Say 25th. And, and Raven's home. And Raven's home. And Raven's home. She said, That's a Raven. I did? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> she confused me. <laughs> so clearly, Raven Simone is over it. And with a tattoo like that, I don't think I would be flattered either. I, I would be offended. Almost as offensive as his appearance on Dr. Phil, which is actually maybe more scary than offensive. In 2018, he appeared on the show and he faced his concerned family and friends who challenged his erratic behavior. He declared himself to be the son of Michael Jackson. Additionally, he insisted that he had four children with the eldest being 16 to 18 years old, which would have meant that he was 13 or 15 when they were born. On top of that, he revealed he couldn't name two of these kids. These alarming admissions prompted the TV host to suggest the actor enter a specialized facility. This appearance on Dr. Phil was really bad for Orlando Brown. Orlando revealed that he was struggling with drug and alcohol addiction, including crystal meth. And he said, just the influence and the demons that come with that drug overtook him. So let's watch this interview with sleazy Dr. Phil, how he took this vulnerable guy who is clearly not doing well and pushed him on set. Whenever we do certain drugs, it can connect half a thought with another half a thought, so it can get pretty confusing. It's very clear to me that some of your thinking is confused. I'm four years sober for a reason. I just now got out of rehab. I just now got out of an ER. I just got out of, I'm not doing no more time away from my kids other than I need to. Me being free after being locked behind bars for no reason and being set up, oh, like I'm, I can't dedicate another 90 days of being monitored all my life. I don't need that crap like other people. It's a slap in the face to people that actually need I don't understand if he's got lizard uh, lizard contacts in. Need it. So how old are your kids? Um, I got a two-year-old, four, uh, two-year-old, uh, five, no, see a five-year-old, um, I think he's eight and 11. All right, now, and what's a two-year-old's name? Two-year-old, um, still in the belly. <laughs> still in the belly, we don't know yet. And what's a five-year-old's name? Wait, the two-year-old is still in the belly? Make it make sense. Uh, that's Mason. And the 11-year-old? Silent. You said the two-year-old don't know the name because it's still in the belly. That's because I have a baby on the way as well. I just mentioned so that. So <laughs> the two-year-old is still in the belly, so that means that that child has been in there for two years. Not necessarily. Did old. you did you not hear me say before you started this whole conversation about my kids? What I said was I have a lot of kids. I mean, he looks like he's like right dozing exactly out. Let's be real. <laughs> so me, as a father, still trying to jump back into that life and figure out who everybody is. You can't ridicule me for not knowing exactly. I'm not ridiculing you. How long has right. it been since you've seen these kids? 
bro, honestly, I see my kids everywhere. But at the end of the day, like I said, I not ridicule you for not knowing your. Okay, I mean, I understand if he was like on a bender for the last few years, he doesn't know. I mean, I don't understand, but I'm trying to like you know make sense of it. I barely don't. I barely see them. I don't know them. They don't know me. I came here today to offer you some help. I think it is in the form of a mental illness that can be dealt with very handily. Not Orlando telling Dr. Pill he doesn't want to go back into a facility and uh, pretty much all he has to offer is like, I'm going to send you back into a facility. Well, Orlando then started posting a bunch of ridiculous rants and saying outrageous things in interviews. People were enabling his behavior like Dr. Phil and it got worse and worse. And I don't know if he was just saying things for shock value to get attention on these interviews. Clearly, he's mentally struggling. Y'all see that little white ass baby with that? All my kids look like me, goddammit. I know the strength of my cum. There should be grapes, turnips, vegetables, everything on the streets every day for the homeless to eat. You're making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that... <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, let's... God gave us for free? Ha! Ha! Da, 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 you will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house. Come here, let me tickle your p oh. Oh. I said, come here and let me tickle your p You ever had diamonds on your p Oh, my. Hmm? Diamonds in the crevice of your why people are just mad at me because I got to have sex with one handicapped girl. One, it was one handicapped bitch. Wait, what? You said everyone's mad at him because he had intimacy with a handicapped person? Stevie Wonder's not really blind. You fell you 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 for that the whole time. I have no words. I'm lost for words. I'm officially speechless. I'm gagged. I'm just, I can't, I cannot. Um, and also... To add to the craziness, he's got some obsession with Raven Simone. Like, believe it or not, touch you on the neck. He's obsessed. He's also said that they have had intimacy and they uh, share a child together. Wow. Despite Raven being a lesbian and happily married. But what are some, like, good times from doing the show? Which one? The That's a Raven show. I mean, everything. Ooh, don't you do it. Yeah. What was, like, an average day at the show like? Man. I'm raving all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking with my dog. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about raving again. Is she right here? Everywhere I go, every time I cry, everything I do, every time I eat, every time I breathe, every time I hurt, every time I walk. Every time I talk, everything I do, man, what the fuck is up? God, I hope I get to see. Is that like a good thing, a bad thing? Like, is he happy that he's like, is he traumatized? That he's associated with this show and it's like his identity. Is he like obsessed with Raven? I, I this is a very, uh, we need a therapist. <laughs> yeah, my thing is, you know, I have a baby with Raven. Nobody knows that. <laughs> he wants to pay me <laughs> niblets to act like I could tell him when I don't tell you. Mm. Uh, yeah, that. Comment below. Do you guys, any, does anyone believe that that could be true? I truly, I mean, Raven is a strong, outspoken, like, I, I just, I can't imagine. This guy's... I don't know. That's my opinion. I want to hear your opinion in the comments below. The baby with Raven thing. Like, she's so dope, bro. Um, nobody loves me like you love me. Nobody knows me like you know me. I mean, I told you in the first interview. I mean, she gave me... And then I gave her some... Say, can you explain... I ate her... Okay, that's what we had thought. People have been saying it, and 
most of the people I thought. I had the num cakes. Oh my gosh, so embarrassing, uh, Raven. Get that restraining order, girl. I went inside the land of the man that wants to go inside if he can, but couldn't do it, man. But I did. I said I could do it, and I can. Uh, you know, you have to hold it, you flip it, and it comes on you. <laughs> Legs this way, you go, uh, and then. I remember just the areola. Ew, uh, watching a train wreck. It's making me cringe. No surprise that Raven wants nothing to do with him. What the hell is up with that madman Orlando Brown? Last year he had put a video saying he got you pregnant, abortion. What the hell is going on? Well, you know, the new show Raven's Home starts, airs Friday nights at 8 o'clock. So that's what that happened. That's what happened there. Let's talk about an article I found from December 2022. That's so Raven star Orlando Brown arrested, accused of threatening relative with a knife and hammer. Now, this happened in Ohio, and a person who said that he was Orlando's relative told police that Orlando had been going crazy inside a residence and came at him with a hammer and a knife in a threatening manner, and he believed that uh, Orlando was going to assault him. The relative told police that he had been letting Orlando, who's 35 at this point, stay at his home for about two weeks because he was homeless and he did not want him to go to a shelter. You can't be acting like that, bro. Yeah, well, you can't be acting my kids. Okay. On December 22nd, police in Lima, Ohio, responded to an incident involving Brown and Matthew Sanders, who Brown referred to as his brother. Now, recently in January 2024, Orlando Brown was kicked out of Tao in LA after an outburst, saying, I am Satan and Lucifer's son. TMZ reported this, where he called an employee a child molester and the serial killer Richard Ramirez. He said, get behind me, Satan. I am Jesus. Get the F out of here, Satan. As the 36-year-old exited the restaurant, he shouted, I am Satan and Lucifer's son. F everybody. Let's go ahead and watch this moment together. Okay, imagine going to a nice restaurant in LA. You want to have a nice dinner. And this guy is like, what? Holding the phone up to this guy, yelling at him, calling him all these names. You don't even know him. You don't know him. My name is Orlando Brown. I am Satan and Lucifer's son. Everybody. <laughs> At this point, it seems like he's, well, mentally ill, deep into addiction, in my opinion. I don't actually know him, but like looking at that behavior, it doesn't seem uh, stable. And he's also found this way of garnering attention by exposing things, by giving insights into Raven Simone getting eaten out by him. Ugh, disgust. He's also tried to expose Diddy and his behavior on multiple occasions, but because of his mental state, nobody takes him seriously. People sold their souls to Diddy. One thing he said about Diddy was that Diddy wants to party, but you got to tell him no. Oh, yeah. Well, you do got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell Diddy no. Everybody knows you got to tell him no, because if you don't tell him no, he's going to put you in a situation where you're going to have to say yes or no again. Bro, the requirement is you got to say no to Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> if it's new booty in the building, you know he's going to get it. Don't take your girlfriend to a Diddy party. Uh, Nigga, you can take the bitch, but he won't you. <laughs> Yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooskash Goosmash. You gave me the Ooskash Muaf. The Smoosmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You gave me the Ooskash Muaf. I love it. He gave him the Ooskash. What? Ooskash Muaf. Ooskash Muaf. Wow. It's like, I I have a reaction to what he's saying because it's like, whoa, what's going on? But I'm trying to be mindful of his mental state because he's clearly not fully there. So we're going to send just good vibes, really good vibes. The mushy, washy, washy, mushy, 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 why? Yeah, no more of that. No more mushy, gushy, ushy, ushy, whatever he was trying to do earlier. That was disgusting. I can't. I'm like, I'm like a little triggered. Not triggered. <laughs> just a little grossed out. Yeah pretty grossed out but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in a new one soon bye guys